justice for the 13-year-old girl who was allegedly raped by her cousin with the facilitation of her brother is on the way, as Love News has learned that police have charged two men related to the victim. These charges stem from an incident that took place some days ago where the 13-year-old child was asleep and then awoken by her 22-year-old brother and taken into another room where their 30-year-old cousin was. The child was then reportedly raped. The other night, the brother attempted to do the same, but the father was awoken and had managed to intervene and rescue the child before the second incident occurred. We spoke with the chief executive officer in the Ministry of Human Development, Judith Alpuche, who told the media that the ministry has now become involved. I am aware of the case and I, has, I always hesitate to speak on these cases until I have an entire briefing. Um, and as you can appreciate, we are still gathering information. The ministry is involved um, from the standpoint of, of child protection. So there's a two-track system when, this, when these kinds of things happen, where the police manages the criminal aspects. So they are concerned about who has committed what crime. We are concerned with the protection of the child. Is this a situation where the family um, and those who are charged with the child's care, are they willing um, and able to protect the child? Um, and that is the determination. I fully understand that people are innocent until they're proven guilty, but at, at face value. Every violation is, is, is a serious violation of a child, but this one is, is, is so deep in terms of this is family this is an older brother you know um, where you would think that the instinct would be to protect um, a cousin a male cousin so it, clearly all these dynamics were not in play but but to the contrary um, and at face value what what is surfacing it, it's it's outrageous and very concerning um, and this is what I'm, I'm talking about and I continue to talk about in terms of you know we have to cultivate this culture where this is absolutely unacceptable because this is outrageous. Love also spoke with Minister Anthony Boots Martinez who condemned the incident and spoke in general saying in incidents like this one when parents do not seek justice for their child who was wronged then it is the minister's responsibility to intervene and make a claim for the victim. Ministry intervention is very important. I haven't spoken to my CEO yet but I think that it is very important for us as the ministry to bring the claim on behalf of the child. That is our responsibility and I think that we need to live up to our responsibility. So if the facts remain that the, 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 there is a report and the, and the parents don't want to comply, then the ministry obligation is to get a social worker and file the report against whosoever have done that to that child. We understand that the little girl's parents have been very cooperative with the authorities in locating the two men who apparently went into hiding. The little girl's 22-year-old brother, a Guatemalan laborer, was charged with two counts of abetment to commit unlawful sexual intercourse, while the 30-year-old cousin, a Guatemalan laborer as well, was charged with two counts of unlawful sexual intercourse. 